Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is, your time zone around the world. It is Motivational Wisdom Straight Talk time. Today, the Motivational Wisdom Straight Talk will be unmasking, unmasking. Let me pause for just a moment. I am practicing my healthy masking techniques. A matter of fact, I've been practicing them ever since March. I have my faithful mask, which I made uh, when I had, there was a shortage of masks back in March coming from Maryland. I made it out of actually uh, binders, uh, uh, your eye mask, and I made this mask to be safe. It bought me through. This is what I've been wearing. And then I have these other masks that I purchased. Different variety of masks. Color coordinated masks. But this particular uh, unmasking uh, that I'm talking about is exposure. And so when we think of masking, it is a covering. It is a covering. And as I uh, began to look at what was happening around the world, uh, the Lord spoke to me. It's an unmasking um, that is going on. And so I'm going to read a context of scripture. Uh, and it's taken from Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 5. And I'm going to read uh, chapter 13. But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light. For whatever makes manifest is light, is light. So during this unmasking time uh, that we're in and the crisis that we're in throughout this whole world, uh, there is uh, an unmasking that has taken place. Uh, there's an unmasking of hatred. Uh, there is an unmasking of political form uh, opportunists. Uh, there is an unmasking of division within the world. Um, there is an unmasking of uh, the loss of fellowship. There's an unmasking of corruption at an intense level, uh, starting with governments and then uh, in the churches and it's unmaskings. And then there's an unmasking of what we call superiority, an unmasking of superiority. Um, so as we think of unmasking, I was... Uh, thinking, why in such a time would people, and it is people, uh, be about such such uh, characteristics, uh, such violence, uh, such opportunities, uh, such platforms, or such speech? at a time when this whole world is turned upside down. Uh, the only revelation that comes is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 13. But all things that are exposed are manifest by light. For whatever makes manifest is light. So what has happened? Uh, during this time of unmasking, we have these different groups that have risen up. Uh, and the groups themselves doesn't even, they don't really know uh, what they believe. They really don't know what they're protesting. But what happened during this unmasking? It was a, a social injustice of police brutality, uh, and we all know George Floyd's name. And let's bring it home. This touched every person's heart throughout this world. What was the unmasking? Uh, it was a level of hatred. 
um, that was shown in the hatred that was exposed did not care about the hatred that came out. And so everyone that was connected did not want to be connected to this type of hatred because it would put them in a certain uh, uh, category. And uh, people start looking at past or what was done in the past and they start looking at what was done in uh, the present and how they wanted to shape their future. Uh, the unmasking uh, brought about shame. Um, the unmasking uh, brought about people with unforgiveness. It also brought about people with envy and strife. It brought about people of prejudice and racial inequalities. And it also brought about a class of people against their own race. And so uh, we look at this context of scripture, of unmasking. And this thing that's going around, people resenting of wearing the mask. What are they really resenting uh, at this time? What is the resentment? Is it um, covering your face? the proper way to uh, contain or to uh, keep healthy during this, this, they call it a pandemic, but I'm going to be truthful. It's a plague from the kingdom of God. It's at all levels throughout the world. Although scientists is doing their scientific thing, uh, it is from the kingdom of God. What is it about a mass that makes people uncomfortable? Well, it is, it covers your, uh, your nose, it covers your mouth, it covers your facial expressions. And so it's like a covering that uh, it hides who you are. Let's look at this, um, let's look at this scientifically. If a person does not have a nose and a person does not have a mouth, it as is the person does not have a face. So we got to break down that wall uh, of this unmasking. Because at this particular time, we know that surgeons and uh, nurses are required to wear a mask when they're working with patients. And so if we have access to this, uh, we need to use it uh, to cover our faces to protect. But what is it really? It is that someone spoke in speech, that it was a representation of slavery. And we know that, yes, slaves were masked like this, but they were masked much worse. Um, their, their masking uh, had steel to it. And um, uh, so it is this connection of masking that came about from speech of someone speaking that it was related to slavery. Uh, but it's really not. Uh, so, but the unmasking came. The unmasking came. It exposed injustice at a greater level. Uh, it exposed also uh, what one will do to build platforms what one will do to stay in positions, what one will do to jeopardize, jeopardize lives for status. And I thought to myself, God, help us, help me not to be in the dark during this time, but let the light, there's something that's happening. The light has come the light through Jesus Christ. And it's unmasking and exposing things at a level we never thought would happen. And as we think of unmasking, what do you need to work on 
during this time of pandemic, tomorrow is not promised to any of us. It's not promised to any of us. What power do you have really over your own life? Do you have the power of life and death in your hands? But this is what the world is doing, seeking more power. There is nothing worse than an opportunist during a time like this. There's nothing worse than a movement that's going forth with violence and hatred, proclaiming social justice at a time like this. This world is turned upside down. None of our lives are promised to us. So what lessons can we learn right now of the unmasking. You need to evaluate who you are. Evaluate what you stand for. Evaluate what you believe. Evaluate your heart. Evaluate your circle of influence. Evaluate the price tag you are willing to succumb to, to gain. Evaluate justice, biblical justice, and evaluate injustice. At this time, during a crisis, a pandemic, evaluate the division that comes forth out of you and evaluate where you want to end up because it is absolute. During this pandemic, you will either succumb to many forms. <sighs> stuff that's going on now, I call it stuff it's stuff, and I call it mess. There's a lot of stuff and mess that's coming out. And you need to evaluate what you are willing to succumb to. Evaluate this time of the unmasking. And are you hiding from the light? Are you representing light? Or are you representing darkness? Because the light of Jesus Christ is unmasking like never before. This is my motivational wisdom straight talk time. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. And remember the unmasking of exposure. And remember to wear your mask. and wear it the right way. This is my motivational wisdom straight talk. We need the mercy of Jesus Christ. I love you. It's nothing you could do about it.